Husker Online kicks off our 2018 in-state tour at Omaha Burke High School. Last year, head coach Paul Lamaggi's Bulldogs went 9-3, making it to the Class A state semifinals and losing a heartbreaker 29-28 against eventual state champions Omaha North. Yeah, I was really pleased how we played last year, and, and the best thing about last year is that we got better every week. I mean, from the start, um, you know, we felt we had a nice club and, uh, you know, faced some injuries, but each week we were just devoted on getting a little bit better each week, and we did that, and the kids improved, and they believed more, and everything fell into place, you know, as October, November came, and I felt we were playing our best football um, w when we should have been, and, uh, you know, we just came up a little bit short, but we're really, really proud of um, you know, the coaching staff, um, how they prepared our kids, and uh, the belief in our players of, uh, of our system, both offensive, offensively and defensively, and just how hard we played um, from the first to the last second was, was very impressive. So um, very proud of that team. And, and uh, you know, they were, they were um, in my eyes, one of the best teams I've coached. So. The Bulldogs return a very talented group of athletes in 2018, headlined by two of the top prospects in the state for the 2019 class, tight end Chris Hickman and linebacker Nick Henrich. And they can't wait to get another shot at Omaha North. Yeah, I mean, I hope I hope we play them, if not once, more than once next year so we can get back at it. I mean, it's always good having good competition, just even knowing that we, we had the game and just gave it up at the last few minutes. I'm just most proud of how we played as a team and we kind of got better every week even though we had some injuries. It obviously didn't end the way we wanted it to, but it was still a really fun, great season. One year ago, Coach Lamaji told us that he had a couple of upcoming juniors that would be big-time prospects. Now, both have double-digit Division I scholarship offers. I'm just trying to stay humble and just stay in my values and like what got me here, you know, just stay listening to my coaches and parents and just stay grounded and stay true to myself. I mean, I'm always surprised when n new schools come in just out of nowhere and like really just come in knowing that they're looking at us and just bigger universities are coming in and we're only juniors. So we're kind of happy getting the attention and glad I can go through it with my teammate. But it's just been a huge honor to be talked to by some of these schools. Just everyone's been so amazing. So yeah, it's just a huge honor. I mean, yeah, just like schools that aren't from like around the Midwest, I'm like, that's kind of crazy how, how your name gets out there just from playing a sport that you love. Yeah, it's, it's something. It's, it's, it's hard to believe when you see their name, you know, on the news and in, in uh, you know, different magazines and on the newspaper and on the radio. And, and, and then you see them here because they're so humble. Um, both Nick and Chris are very humble. They're, very, they're, they're the hardest working guys on our team. They're very good leaders. They're very down-to-earth kids. And seeing them develop into such great players... Um, along with being great individuals, has really been um, something that's exciting for, for me and the rest of the coaches. It's, we're very proud of them. Um, we're very excited that we get to have them uh, for one more year and see what they can do. But both of them are just, you know, outstanding kids first and, uh, you know, very humble and, and polite. Uh, but, boy, are they competitive. <clears throat> they are big-time players. And uh, they're, they're physically gifted, but they also believe in our system. They believe in our program. It's, it's. Uh, they, they love to play for Burke, and uh, we love having them. So it's, it's just been almost overwhelmingly exciting. I mean, it's, 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 it's been busy, but that's okay. And you know, it's been a little hectic, and that's okay. But uh, those kids deserve it, and uh, you know, I can't wait to see what they become in the future. Both Nick and Chris are versatile prospects and could play multiple positions at the next level. I mean, really, just whatever I grow into, however much weight I can put on and just where I fit at in, like in the team. I'll play wherever. I think most schools are kind of recruiting me as an inside guy, but I love outside too, so I'll play wherever I can get on the field. I don't really prefer one over the other because either way, you get to help out the team on either side of the ball, whether I'm making them play or stopping the other team from making them play. Nebraska has offered both prospects, but they aren't naming any favorites just yet. However, they are already planning spring visits. For sure, like Nebraska, Notre Dame, uh, Iowa, Iowa State, and Minnesota probably for sure. I mean, I think of it all as the same as any other school, just 
all the schools have shown me attention and I don't want to show anyone different attention than another school just because of where they're located at. Nick wants to make his decision early, but Chris is planning on taking his time. I'll probably decide this summer sometime just so I can, yeah, focus on my senior year with my team, finish out the right way. I mean, I'll probably wait until after the season just so I can focus on my team and my teammates so I can give them the best effort that I have. And you never know, both could end up teammates again in college. I mean, we both, we'd like to play together at the next level, but if we both want to go to a different school, then we'd rather not cause conflict there and do what's best for each other. The 2018 season should be a special one for the Bulldogs with Nick and Chris leading the way, along with junior wide receiver Xavier Watts and quarterback Tyler Chadwick. Reporting for HuskerOnline.com from Omaha Burke High School, I'm Greg Peterson.